If you're gonna get into the Amazon wholesale game, you're going to run into restrictions on products that you can sell. Gating, you're gonna be gated in certain products, certain brands, certain categories. So stay tuned to this video to learn how to quickly get around these gatings. Welcome fellow entrepreneurs to the Entrepreneur Adventure Podcast where we talk about Amazon Wholesale and how you can use it to build an e-commerce empire, a side hustle, or anything in between. And now, your host, Todd Welch. What's up, everybody? Todd Welch here from Entrepreneur Adventure, and we're gonna dive into the world of gating in Amazon and how to get ungated in products. Because if you're gonna sell Amazon Wholesale, you're gonna get into this game, you're going to run into gating and gating is basically when Amazon restricts you from selling a product unless you meet some criteria so make sure down below before we get started hit subscribe hit that bell to get notified of more videos like this I release videos on keeping you moving forward in this Amazon wholesale game pretty regularly. So let's make sure you do that. And let's go ahead and dive into this. First off, types of gating. So the big way to get gated is categories. So categories frequently are gated on Amazon. And some of the categories that are currently gated, there's quite a few of them. But some of them, for example, are clothing and food, collectible coins, watches, music and DVDs, and et cetera, et cetera. The list is always changing and evolving as Amazon changes their terms. So this means that to be able to sell in a specific category, let's take food and grocery, for example, if you wanna sell in that category, you need to jump through some hoops to prove to Amazon that you are a legitimate business before you can sell any of the products that fall under that category. The second type of gating is brand gating. So let's take Nike, for example. Nike is gated on Amazon. You cannot sell Nike until you get approved to sell Nike. And once you get ungated for Nike, then you can sell all of the Nike products for the most part that are on Amazon and you can start selling them. The third way of being gated is product or ASIN level. ASIN is the number that Amazon gives each unique product. Some products specifically will be gated and you cannot sell that product without, again, jumping through the hoops that Amazon forces you to do to get ungated. All right, so those are the main three ways that Amazon gates things so that you need to jump through some hoops and prove yourself to start selling those products. Now, the reason that Amazon is usually gating some of these categories is one of the big ones is knockoffs and counterfeits. That's one of the reason a lot of the clothing is gated and watches, jewelry, things like that. Knockoffs can be a big deal in those categories. So Amazon gates those categories to try to weed out some of the sellers who are not so wholesome, not following the rules, and selling those counterfeits and knockoffs. So that's one big reason that Amazon gates these categories. Now another one is health and safety. So if you think about vitamins and grocery, these are things that you're putting in your body. Uh, even some pet categories are gated as well dogs who are eating the food, cats are eating the food, etc. There's health risks to that. So they don't want just anyone jumping on there selling anything, some knockoff dog food that's gonna kill your dog, obviously. So they gate those categories for health and safety reasons. Quality control is another big reason that Amazon gates products specifically and some brands as well. They wanna make sure that a product is doing well. So if they're getting lots of reports of maybe 
products that are being returned a lot or reports from the brand that a product is a knockoff or a counterfeit, then they're gonna start restricting those brands and those ASINs so that again, you have to prove your chain, your inventory chain, that you're getting your products from legitimate sources. And the fourth reason is brand requests. This doesn't happen a lot, but I have heard it from some big brands that they are requesting Amazon to gate their brand so no one can sell their products without approval. So that is happening some as well for the really big brands. So now let's go ahead and dive into the meat of this episode. And that is how you can go about getting ungated. So number one, you're going to have to have a professional Amazon seller's account. You're not gonna be able to get ungated with a free Amazon account. Any legitimate business is going to have a professional account, so get that professional account right away. 35 bucks, just get it. So once you meet that requirement, when you click on a product or a category and you try to add a product from that category, from that brand, or even a product that is gated, it's gonna take you to a screen that is asking for some information. The main screen that you're gonna see is this one right here that I'll put on the screen for you. And it requires that you submit a invoice for these products. Now there's some requirements for the invoice. This is another example of what you might see for trying to get ungated for a category. I'll put that one here on the screen as well so you can see it. But you need an invoice from a legitimate brand or a legitimate distributor that shows a purchase of at least 10 units of that specific product, if you're getting ungated for a specific product, or products in that category, combined products in that category if you're trying to get ungated for a category, or same thing for a brand. The invoice is gonna have to be within the last 180 days. It's gonna have to have the name and address of the distributor or the brand that you bought the products from, and it's gonna have to have your name and address on the invoice. You can omit the pricing on the invoice if you choose, but you don't necessarily have to. I don't usually, I just send it in. I figure Amazon is going to get that information regardless of if you send it to them or not. But the big thing on these invoices, so this is absolutely critical, and this is where most people get into trouble the address of your business, the phone number of your business, the email of your business that is showing on that invoice needs to match what is in your account on Amazon. That is the biggest reason that people get denied for getting ungated in a category is because something is off in the invoice. Now, if you get rejected for being ungated, they're usually pretty cryptic about what they tell you. They don't tell you exactly what was wrong with the invoice. Now, they're getting a little bit better with that, but still, you're probably gonna have to guess. So, if you get rejected, double check the invoice, make sure everything matches what is in your Amazon account, because that is the main reason that you're going to get denied and rejected from selling a product or getting ungated for a category. In addition, make sure that the invoice is a paid invoice. You're not gonna be able to submit any unpaid invoices or purchase orders or anything like that. You wanna be submitting a paid invoice to Amazon. So that is another thing that could stop you from getting ungated in a category or brand or whatever you're trying to get ungated for. Now, in addition, sometimes Amazon will ask you some questions about what you're gonna be doing in a category. You wanna answer those questions honestly, but also use some intelligence about it. For example, one of the questions that they ask sometimes is, how many of these products do you think you're going to sell? And they might have like one to five, five to 10 or 20 or more. 
Don't select that lowest amount, like one to five. You need 10 minimum on an invoice. So if you're only gonna sell five, you're not gonna get on gated because the invoice is not gonna be any good to get on gated. So select those higher amounts. If you're doing this Amazon wholesale, you're obviously gonna be buying and selling more than that to make it worthwhile. So answer honestly, but also think about it. Put yourself in Amazon's shoes. What are they looking for? If you're gonna get on gated to sell in grocery and you tell them you're only gonna sell five, you, it's probably not worth them to take that risk on someone who's not gonna sell more products than that. Now, when you're getting ungated, a lot of times they'll have like an optional comments section. I never put anything in there. I figure just give them what they need. We don't need to give them extra ammunition to deny us. So just give them exactly what they're looking for and nothing more. Make sure you put a valid email address that they can get a hold of you at and a valid phone number so that they can call you if they need anything. So with that, if you follow those steps, it's not really that hard. A lot of people get a little nervous about being ungated. Maybe they've gotten rejected in the past, but nine times out of 10, it really comes down to having that invoice being a proper invoice and making sure that invoice is coming from a legitimate brand, directly from the brand, or a legitimate distributor. Amazon will not take wholesale invoices. So a lot of people confuse a distributor with a wholesaler. And the difference is a distributor has a direct relationship with the brand of a product. They're buying the products directly from the brand. Where a wholesaler is getting their products from maybe businesses going out of business, customer returns, closeouts of products, liquidations, and things like that. And Amazon will not accept a wholesaler's invoice for getting ungated. So make sure you're getting your products from a legitimate brand direct or a legitimate distributor that has relationships with those brands. That's very important and that's one mistake I see a lot of people make. And one more word of caution, a lot of people out there will try to sell you ungating services or recommend ungating services. Just do not use those. Amazon is getting smarter all the time and these ungating services that used to work now are just getting people banned from selling on Amazon. So ask yourself the question, is it really worth paying someone to fraudulently get you ungated and risk the health of your account, risk your account being shut down. If you're truly trying to build a real business, the answer is absolutely not. So do not, do not use ungating services. I cannot stress that enough. Do it the right way. If you are doing this properly, as I told you in this video, getting the proper invoices from legitimate brands, legitimate distributors, you're not going to have a problem getting ungated. Now, the last way that I wanted to talk about for getting ungated is getting a letter directly from the brand. So if you have a relationship directly with the brand of a product that you're going to sell, simply have them write you a letter. The letter has to be on company letterhead. It has to have the name and address, phone number and email of the business that you're getting it from, it needs to be signed off on, on the bottom, and basically just saying that I authorize whatever the name of your business is on Amazon to sell our products on Amazon, upload it to the gating or to the ungating request application and that will quite often get you ungated as well. That's a little bit more difficult to get those if you don't have a direct relationship with the brand if you're going through a distributor, but I've used that in the past without having an issue because I actually had a product that I was ungated for or didn't have any gating. I purchased the products then I added the product to my Amazon and I was all of a sudden gated. So one important thing to remember if you're buying product out there, make sure you're always adding the product to your Amazon Seller Central before purchasing the product. I've made that mistake in the past 
and I was able to get around it, thankfully, by getting a letter from the brand, or I could have just made another order. It wasn't a really big deal, it was only an order of five, but it can happen, and I used the letter from the manufacturer to get around that. All right, so there you go. That is how to get ungated in Amazon, in the Amazon wholesale world. You're going to run into it. I hope that helped you. Let me know in the comments if you've run into other issues with getting ungated, how you got around them and things like that. I'll reply to all of those comments and while you're down there, make sure you click the subscribe button and the little bell to get notified of more videos just like this one. I'm also gonna have links down there if you wanna get my email templates that I use to contact brands and distributors, as well as my exclusive agreement you can get that I've set up with brands. And I'm also giving away my cash flow budget that I use every two weeks when I get that disbursement from Amazon. So click that link down below to get those and it'll help you move forward in your Amazon adventure as well. So with that, this is Todd Welch with The Entrepreneur Adventure, signing off. Happy selling, everybody. This has been another episode of The Entrepreneur Adventure Podcast. Thanks for listening, fellow entrepreneur. And always remember, success is yours if you take it.